Well guys, seems to me that this is the end of tokenized stocks. Remember, AMC tokenized stock was traded on FTX and was presumably used to influence over the actual equities on the New York Stock Exchange. Why this is a big deal? Because Gary Gensler said so. SEC will make it harder for hedge funds to work with crypto firms. And this means that this is why each and every tokenized stock he used presumably to influence over the price action for pumps and dumps in certain securities won't appear anymore. In other words, if certain hedge fund had certain position, certain relationship with certain crypto firm that was underregulated back in the days and use it to create a special token for certain stock. I want to trade Apple. I want to short Apple, but you know, I don't want to pay such a high borrowing fees for borrowing Apple stock, short Apple and then try to return the shares on the lower prices. Or I could simply have my friends in the crypto forum create a special token stock, which is equivalent of the actual security and I can utilize potentially, I don't know how this actually works, we're assume over here that I can actually influence dumping bunch of these tokenized stocks, reducing the actual valuation trigger, the actual trading algorithm of New York Stock Exchange, sending signals that, you know, this stock at the current levels is extremely overpriced. This stock should be trading lower simply because there is a much more demand on the lower prices. There is a thousands of thousands of thousands of orders placed as a buy order on much lower levels. So this will trigger the actual trading algorithm on New York Stock Exchange and pushing the stock price of the actual equity much lower. Did you see everything that I just mentioned? I didn't. We just presume over here, guys. If we know how it works, uh, we most likely will have a, a better understanding how the price action tomorrow will look like, right? And it isn't a coincidence that Gary Gensler is making out this case, especially concerning what happened with FTX. The US Security Exchange Commission is planning to propose rule changes that would make it harder for the hedge funds, private equity firms and pension funds to work with crypto firms. This was announced yesterday. The SEC will make it harder for crypto firms to be qualified custodians or companies that hold clients' assets or money managers. And I understand some people might actually take a different approach. They might say that there are big institutional investors who are collecting clients' funds. They're placing these funds into these crypto firms to collect premiums through staking. I understand that, like a passive income, like a version of which we're managing your funds, give me a million dollars, we collect 1%, right? This is $10,000 per year, simply because they're going to put your money into some of these staking platforms that most likely won't be available in the US anymore. This is indirect approach of the SEC trying to cut ties between the hedge funds and the crypto firms in this sense. Again, this is a proposal and if this proposal is actually passed, this means that we're most likely going to see a major, major delisting of these tokenized stocks. First point over here. Second point, major withdrawers. Hedge funds will withdraw all the funds that are currently invested in any of these crypto firms. So all the withdrawers will go back to the actual custodians, which are the hedge funds. But the question is, is each and every crypto firm still has the actual cash? Can they actually liquidate each of these staking firms, staking platforms, staking protocols, right? To be able to actually refund all the funds back to the hedge funds. This is the biggest question over here. And if not, well, guys, there is a major issue for the hedge funds then. Remember, there is a major, major tensions coming around Gary Gensler and potential investigation around Gary Gensler. We talked about over the weekend, some people are calling out for investigating Gary Gensler. So this is very, very interesting over here. Let me know what do you guys think about if these tokenized stocks disappear, something that will happen with AMC. AMC tokenized stocks simply stops being trading on FTX because FTX blow up, right? But just think about it, if this has a major impact over each and every security that could create additional duplicate tokenized security and influence over the price action, this could change the market forever. Yeah.